Hey guys, welcome to the second Mate Monday where I talk to you guys about something maybe random, something you guys have requested, and drink my mate. So today I wanted to do a hair update because I'm always getting asked about my hair, my dreadlocks, and I haven't done an update in a long time. It's been almost, um, it's been seven, eight, year, eight years since I've relaxed my hair. The first four of those were, um, I was a loose natural and it grew and then I locked it, I guess, four years ago about, I don't have the exact dates. I think it was around this time of year though, so I think this is my four year lock anniversary-ish, a little more, I think I was sick dirt, anyway. But you can see, I have it up today. I have been doing a lot of just like where I tie it back type of things. They've gotten pretty long. I don't know if these are even my longest ones or not. I've been doing more cool styles. Uh, this one I just tied back when I was messing around with our kids because they get crazy and I didn't want my hair to be pulled. I need to wash it. I usually wash it every three to every two to five weeks depending on how oily it is and what the weather's like. If it's more moist outside, I wash it more because my scalp gets a little dirtier. Um, or like not dirtier, but gunky. And I do apple cider vinegar washes as well as baking soda. I also do, uh, I just got Jamaican black castor oil and I haven't, or not, uh, a set of new soap. I haven't tried it yet. I don't even know where it's at. I might have lost it. Um, but I do apple cider vinegar and then I've started doing Listerine washes every, I guess I've only done one, so I guess like every three months or so. Um, I might do one of those again. They say to do laundry or, uh, Dish soap to get that out. I'm never doing dish soap again. That was awful. I had so much buildup from that. Um, but Listerine and apple cider vinegar and baking soda, I kind of alternate between those depending on what's going on. If my scalp is being, if my scalp is acting up more, I do apple cider vinegar and baking soda for sure. But Listerine, um, I tried it. They say that it like, kills like bacteria and buildup, that type of thing. And with them being so long and taking so long to dry at this point, because they can take a really long time to dry. I just wanted to be really careful. I also bought a new hair dryer, which I sold my old hair dryer when I got my locks because I didn't use it. I sold my hot comb, my hair dryer, and like all my old hair stuff. And so I bought a, bought a new hair dryer because I've started drying my hair just to be cautious of that type of thing. I have not retwisted in ages. You guys can see my roots are all over the place. Like I said, I have a quite, I have some buildup right now because I am about a week. Um, I should have washed my hair about a week ago and I didn't. Um, we just got new kids. Um, my husband and I are foster parents and I have gone too long, um, which isn't the end of the world. It just, it's more, my scalp gets itchy and I don't. So I'll be doing apple cider vinegar anyways. But yeah, you can see they're super long. I don't have any jewelry in it anymore. That's, I don't do much with it. I tie it back a lot. Um, I need to start doing more updos that are higher up on my head because it's so heavy. I did one a couple times for my um, I do the chiropractor and uh, physical therapy for my neck and spine. So yeah, some of you guys know I get really bad migraines a lot. Um, but yeah, it's getting pretty heavy, so I may end up cutting it sometime soon, just cutting the bottoms. Um, but I kind of want to bleach it and dye it red before I cut the bottoms. So we'll see if I do that. Yeah, this is my eight-ish years uh, chemical-free. I have not relaxed or done anything with my hair. I haven't even dyed it in those eight years. I haven't bleached it. This is all the growth from that. There's a few that I've cut off that just like, there's a few that are super cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find them. But they do like weird things. This one. Yeah, so you can see it has like multiple tails on it, I guess. Um, I don't like some of those because they have, uh, so as you know, I started my hair, my dreadlocks long, then they shrunk, and now they're growing again. And uh, it took two years for places to lock. And so anytime I wore a sweatshirt that was new or used a towel that wasn't brown or black, all those fuzzies came off in my hair. And so like even throughout, like if, if I, like you can see fuzzies throughout my hair that are sweatshirts or whatever. I've got mostly red and gray and white. All of those really build up at the bottom. So I've cut some of the bottoms off so I'm like, I don't want to pick it all out. And I've got enough to where I can't even find the ones I've cut. I have a couple that have grown together. Actually, I want to show you guys. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to find them. Yeah, so those two have got, um, grown together. 
and not separating them because they're really thin anyways. And the, I, I think these two would break. There's a couple more that up front will probably grow together that I'm not going to separate. Um, I don't know. I might separate them. Yeah, this one I'm kind of excited about. This is like real free forming, right? <laughs> but it's been probably six months before, maybe nine months since I've um, separated or retwisted. I might do a few here and there. Um, but yeah, those are my locks. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, I am an artist. I do travel and culture videos. Uh, a lot of my artwork is based on travel and culture and the mixing of different cultures as well as social issues that affect different people groups. Um, I love language and all those sorts of things. So for Matze Mondays, post questions below about top language, culture, people, diversity, traveling my city, traveling the world, uh, doing artwork in response to that, social issues, uh, anything, or just personal questions you want to ask me and I'll answer the ones that I want to answer. I'll pick out some of the, the top ones. So like, if other people ask a question you want to know, like it and I'll be more likely to answer it. So thanks guys. See you around.